Hello, today we want to discuss in the streaming and the source of this, particularly the source of the streaming. Anytime we develop a streaming application, we need to test whether the streaming application works or not. For that to happen, we need a source of the streaming. In many cases, the streaming applications is streaming over the network. So that means we need to have a socket server streaming sources to provide the streaming, the streaming data needed to test the functionality of the streaming applications. I wrote this application, the streaming source programs, in connections to testing the Apache streaming applications that I wrote. So let's go over this socket server Python program that sends the streaming data over the network, uh, network port. And this program is also available for download in my GitHub site. So at the end of this demonstration, I will post the link for, uh, for downloading. So this is a socket server program that generates non-stop random CSV lines intended as streaming testing sources with Apache streaming. Its syntax is pretty simple. It's a name of Python 3, this sock underscore server dot py space the port number. So you should choose a port that is a free and consider free port or greater than 20,000. So you may have a question is, do you have to specify the host name where this streaming, uh, the program runs, you don't. This streaming program listen to all interfaces at this particular port you specified. So since this is a Python program, there's a, some library I need to import. So import socket, import sys, import time, daytime, random, arc pass. So you obviously know is it takes the, it needs the parameter. So that's why I import arc pass. So the parameter or argument it needs is the network port. This streaming server is listening on. So the first I create the method is called get underscore message. Basically, it's, it's really a two lines. The first line is the creating a list. The list is that contains 200 most popular English words. And the second one is random dot choices k equal to 20 of this list which means it will randomly pick one or any of these any any of these words in, in this in this list and it join it back as a string that separate by a space and also very importantly at the end of the string need to concatenate with a backslash n otherwise the streaming client particularly those Apache streaming will not be able to receive the streaming data. That itself took me a, a little while to figure this out. So after that, it will be the driving program. So the driving code is certainly, you will know it will uh, asking for a, a port parameters and it will make the port parameter is a mandatory. So you must supply the port parameter before it will go, uh, before we'll follow over. So, and then it will, it will print out a port number just to confirm the port you have chosen, you have specified in as a parameter. And then you notice the host is empty. So the empty host means it's all interfaces, all network. If, you, if this machine has a multiple networking card, it will listen to all these cards in, in addition to local host. And of course, the port you per, uh, pass in, it will be goes to the, uh, the variable support. And then it creates a socket. It displays socket created messages on the screen. And it binds the socket. So that's a typical procedure. So bind the socket with this host name, which is the empty and the port number you pass in. And then bind the socket to the network port. And then it display the socket bind complete. And then it will start listen to the socket. And it will display listen to the socket on this port. So now after this, it will wait for the client connections. So once the, there's a calling in from the client, it accepts, it gets the IP address of the client and the connection object. So, and then it goes into 
the sending the messages. So what message? It calling the get underscore message, which returns a string that contains a 20 random words. Some of, uh, some of these words may be duplicated. And certainly you will notice the dot encode is required when you send a string over to the TCP socket. It requires a byte string, not the regular text string. So that's why the dot encode uh, method is needed. And after sending out the string, it will sleep for one second. And then sending another 20 random words encoded string over to the socket to the client. Once the client disconnects, it will break out this in, in the infinity loop and going back to waiting for a new connections, waiting for the new connections. So until when? Until you interrupt through the keyboard to end these programs. So you, you, uh, you interrupt through end these programs, it will just uh, close the socket and uh, print done. So now this is the, the internal logic of this socket server that sends out a random text string. So designed for, in this case, it's designed for Apache Spark WordCom program, network WordCom programs. So now let's go over to the network WordCom programs.